Viking, derived from the Old Norse term vikinger, generally referring to Scandinavian men who traveled, traded, and raided through parts of Europe, the Mediterranean, Russia, and North America. Men. The standard history popularized in the 19th century tells us that only men were Viking warriors. But Norse mythology, and now science, tell us differently. History does teach us that Norse women were much more liberated than other women at the time. They could own property, conduct business, get a divorce, and gain custody of their children. And Norse folklore and mythology claim that women were also fierce warriors. Poems and stories featured weapon-wielding women called shield maidens. There were characters like Freydis Eric's daughter, daughter of Norse explorer Eric the Red, who wielded a sword in battle while eight months pregnant. Or Lagertha, who won over her future husband Ragnar Lothbrok with her fighting skills and the mythical Valkyries who wore armor and carried weapons on the battlefield, choosing which fighters would die and ushering them into the grand afterlife known as Valhalla. But there was no hard proof that great female Viking warriors ever existed until 2017, which saw the culmination of a forensic investigation that began in the 19th century. In the 1880s, archaeologists unearthed a well-preserved and elaborately furnished grave in the Viking trading post of Birka, Sweden. Alongside the body were weapons and two horses. On the lap was a chess-like board game known as a king's table, indicating the grave inhabitant was a commander that made strategic decisions. Based on these items, scientists concluded the burial site belonged to a powerful military leader, and by default, the body was classified as male. But no one checked the bones. Over a century later, Stockholm University osteologist Anna Shellström was analyzing the Birka remains for another study when she noticed the pelvic bones and mandible were feminine. She estimated the bones belonged to a woman over the age of 30 and approximately 5 foot 6 inches tall. Shellstrom published her provocative findings in 2016, which caused some controversy. What? Since the Birka bones were found over a century ago, some argued they may have been mislabeled, or possibly the bones of several people mixed together. But in 2017, another woman stepped up to answer the critics. A research team led by archaeologist Charlotte Herdentina Janssen at Sweden's Uppsala University extracted two types of DNA from the bones. They confirmed Shellstrom's hypothesis. The bones belonged to one woman. In the findings, the researchers concluded that it was rare to find evidence of high-ranking female Viking warriors, not because they didn't exist, but because of sexism in scientific research. Though some Viking women buried with weapons are known, a female warrior of this importance has never been determined and Viking scholars have been reluctant to acknowledge the agency of women with weapons.